Five, four, three, two. Low again. With us at this time is a singer who not only sometimes performs in bars, but is equally adept at practicing on them. Please join us in welcoming the charming Claiborne Carey. And now, here's your man of the half hour, Skippy Low. Claiborne Carey, in New York City you grew up or where? No, I, I was born in Lone Tree, Iowa. Really? Yes. And the tree died, and we moved into Des Moines. Uh huh. Well, the elm blight came through. Uh -huh. <laughs> showbiz. What? Uh, so, well, yes. Family uh, of show business. Family really. show business. Um, Sisters. I, I should have been a, um, a jazz singer, but I was afraid I'd end up in a rehab. Uh huh. And my family was theatrical, so I went uh, toward the theater. Uh huh. Uh, yes, Cloris is my. Cloris sister. Leachman is, is your sister? sister. And who else in the family? Uh, Mary, our middle uh -huh. sister. Uh -huh. uh, my my name was Claiborne Leachman. It so was Claiborne it's Leachman. The when did you name. change that? When did you change uh, well, I married. Oh, I married okay. Bob Carey uh -huh. as a as a young, very young woman. I think to get away from the family. I see. And I mean that came out in my therapy. You know. This came. Out. You mean? Uh, so I changed my name, and right. I was happier. I was much happier when mean? I changed it from Leachman. Why to is Carey. that? Why is that? Well, I wasn't that happy in this family. With the Leachman family? Well, there were a lot of bosses. They were very, very bossy. How many very sisters? Critical. How many sisters? Two. Two sisters. And I was the baby. Ah. And it was the 30s. And it was like, oh, no, not another one, you know. Right. And a girl. Uh -huh. That's how I happened to get Claiborne. Our, uh -huh. our um, a, a grandmother's name was Rose Claiborne. Right. And they were going to name this little boy that uh, was coming. Oh, the, oh I Clayborn. see. That's how you got Claiborne. Yes, and my mother but was like in the, the hospital. Like well, the there was a famous actress named Claiborne Foster on Broadway. Right. And my mother read about her in the paper and realized that it would be all right to name me Claiborne. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> that's how I got Claiborne, but uh -huh. it's not been easy. It hasn't yet. been easy? Well, no. I was very cute and... Um, Always on. A lot of people think it's easy because you have a famous sister, and then all of a oh, sudden, no, no, it's no, um, no, it's no, not easy. No, it, it is. No, 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 no. It's like a black cloud over my head. Uh -huh. I forget that we're sisters, and I am happy, and I go along, and everything's great, and I'm working, and then all of a sudden, somebody says, "Right, are you?" And I go, "Oh, that's right." It does bother you. Well, it's just that it's it's like the black yeah. cloud. Yeah. It's not yeah. a happy. Yeah. Uh, but thing. you moved to New York, and you, and uh, well, we all moved to New York. The whole family. No, but as each of us graduated from high school, college, we uh -huh. he headed out. You always wanted to be in show business. City. No, not really. But I was good at it, and we were brought up in it, and we performed always as mm -hmm. little children. But you did a Broadway morning. show, and. Uh, I was a dancer. I had a with I studied, Bob Fosse. I studied dancing in Des Moines. I was a good dancer, and I got a job with Bobby Fosse. Tell me, working with Bobby Fosse, difficult? No. no. Oh, he was just was darling. Uh, uh, Thelma Ritter was difficult, and and George <laughs> Abbott was difficult, and uh, other people were difficult. But uh -huh. Gwen was wonderful. Bobby was wonderful. Uh -huh. George Wallace, who lives out here, right. was wonderful. What was the show you did great... in, uh, with uh, Fosse on? Broadway? It was uh, New Girl in Town. New Girl in Town. Uh huh. And Hal Prince was a young uh -huh. producer. Uh -huh. Very young. Lots of dancing, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was lucky because. I didn't look right on stage. What I was do you mean too you short. Oh, okay. And and I couldn't I wasn't a ballerina type with legs and But you were boobs cute and, and perksy type thing. Well, he was looking for, for actors. Bobby changed the complexion of the of, of the dancers. Mm -hmm. And uh, he could see something in me and, and in fact there was an argument with Mr. Abbott. Um, <clears throat> Abbott wanted uh, the, the sexier girl, and Bobby right. said no. Uh -huh. He had already done um, Steam Heat, that show. Uh, right. And so he now had some clout, and he mm -hmm. said, no, I need Claiborne. Mm -hmm. He knew my name and uh -huh. everything from uh -huh. auditioning for him so many Your times. sister, uh, Clarence Leachman, did she do a lot of Broadway? At the, at she did quite a bit in the very early years. When you were in New York, was she? No, 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 no. Before yeah. I got to New York, she was doing. But you did plays. a lot of clubs, like the Blue Angel. Well, then uh, that's what I always kind of wanted to do. I like working alone. Me too. I like cabaret. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And and material and um, and being small, I always 
liked working alone. I preferred to be alone. Your own boss. You know exactly and, what and, you're doing. And out I there. looked taller. Right. I looked better uh -huh. by myself. Uh -huh. So um, uh, I I began developing material, and I could play the piano a little bit. And I had a great apartment on 49th and 8th, uh -huh. and uh, I could play the piano all night. And nobody could hear me. In and your apartment, really? Yeah, really? yeah. Years ago, I'm sorry. Did you study I gave singing at all? In, in yes, York? I did. Carla Minotti? Or? No, 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 no. Remember Carla Minotti? Oh, the voice of course, too? sure. Yeah. He wrote. Uh, no, not John Carlo. Oh, John oh, Carlo oh, John is something Carlo. different. No. But Carla Minotti used to be a teacher. Oh, I he, see. He, he taught voice. I, uh, all the all did the you actors. Did you study with him? Yeah, for a while. Uh huh. Yeah, this is in the uh -huh. uh, late fifties. But tell me about working the clubs. You did a lot of village clubs. The most. Did well, you know? I I was this dancer, but I really wanted to sing, and I was right. really hip. And I love jazz. What do you mean by hip, dear? Well, I mean, I, mean I, I swung, yeah, you, you know, swung. And, and people in cabaret don't really swing. Uh, it, in fact, it's very hard to find a, a pianist who can do material and swing. It's, it's almost it's, impossible. So jazz people swing. Is that what you're trying to say? Jazz people swing, but they can't play. Most of them cannot play material like show. I understand. You know, or of course, funny of course. bits and all that. They want they, to just they play just, jazz. They play jazz. Yeah. Jazz so, is really what? Really? Let's explain. Let's get back. Jazz is really improvising. Is it improvise? You know, isn't it mostly what? Would you consider Mel Tremaine a jazz singer? Oh, sure. That's it. Oh, sure. He yeah. swings. He swings. It's so hard. people who swing are jazz singers. Well, Ella Fitzgerald? Oh, of course. That's sure. Yeah. But there are some jazz singers who don't really swing, who uh -huh. call themselves jazz, jazz singers. singers. Uh -huh. And that's uh, kind of scary. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. But Anita O'Day, uh -huh. of, of course, is a jazz singer. Right, right, right. Great one. Claiborne, uh, right now you're appearing in the valley somewhere, Toluca yes, Lake area? Yes, We've been in New York. We have been everywhere. Uh -huh. we, been, we did a cruise, and then we did what Town cruise, Hall. What cruise did you do? The th ship cruises? Yes, yeah, ship oh, cruise. Great, aren't they fun? I, I can't even remember the do name you of fun? it. No, you, yes, you, it was great. Uh, Rex Reed was on, uh -huh. and, and um, uh, Charles and Barbara Did you and get Barbara seasick Strauss. at all? Did you get no. seasick? No. Yeah. No, it was great. Yeah, we fun. had a ball, uh -huh. and we, we just did one show. Uh -huh. uh, then we did Town Hall. Uh -huh. um, I, I did a number with uh, Billy Barnes that he yeah, wrote. Billy Barnes something is great. Cool. Love it, yeah. And he's a great writer. Oh, he's wonderful. Yeah. He wrote Have I Stayed Too Long at the Fair. That mm -hmm. was his mm -hmm. big hit for uh -huh. him. Uh, then we did a wonderful medley of uh, Victor Young tunes mm -hmm. from the movies mm -hmm. with Jane Powell uh, was the hostess. Right. So that was a great, great week. And um, then I uh, did Sondheim at the Tea Room after that. The Russian Tea Room the in New York on 57th yeah. Street. The second time. Tell me about the Russian Tea Room. It's becoming the thing it's right the now. Place. Upstairs or downstairs yes. or what? It's upstairs. It's, it's upstairs. It's upstairs, yeah. And oddly enough, my first voice teacher used to rent an apartment upstairs, uh -huh. right where the cabaret is now. That's where Carlo Minotti's building is, and in his office right there. And he's, he's oh, really? that's where he teaches, around the side. Well, is that the, um, uh, how do you get to? It's at the uh, Lincoln, it's the, uh, uh, it's the uh, Carnegie Hall, yeah, right Carnegie there. Hall. Yeah, Carnegie Hall. But tell me about practice, working practice. that Russian tea room. Who, who some of the people used to come to see you? Who are Claiborne, some of the people? Claiborne, come on. Oh my gosh. You're working the Russian well, tea room, where is the New York, where the crowd is there. Cy Coleman comes. See, that's what I mean. Go um, ahead. Um, <laughs> uh, Sondheim's um, uh, agent. Mm -hmm. you, you know who you she have. is. She's wonderful. No, I don't. Uh, oh, that's she's okay. great. Um, uh, gosh. You had a crowd just, to come to see you. Oh, people. huge. We were sold out two weeks uh -huh. before. Two weeks before? Uh-huh. Really? Yes. Yes, that's yes. a great room. Or how many? Room. How many in the, on the audience? The audience small. A uh, hundred. See, that's it. A hundred great rooms. Very different. Yes, and the food you're, is great. You're right they, off, they do a nice offering. I think it's twenty-five dollars for a four-course dinner, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> with the show or something. It's it's a very good. In West Hollywood or in Hollywood, there is a, a cabaret. You work quite often. It's on Santa Monica Boulevard. It's that lovely little. Uh, Roll that. What's his name's Roll's room? On oh, 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 the Gardenia. The Gardenia. Yes, I, I played that last room. spring. Uh -huh. I came out with That's the, an intimate room the ASCAP people. Right. Uh, Margaret Whiting uh -huh. and myself, and quite a few people. And we uh, ASCAP is always developing new Talent. people. Yeah. And new new songwriters. So um, we went up to San Francisco and we played the. Gardenia. You worked the Push Room in San Francisco. Uh, well, that was something else. Oh, that okay. was my own act. Uh -huh. We went back. Uh -huh. Uh, with my friends. Now Mike you Brodsky. are appearing. Now you are appearing at the 
Toluca Lake at the St. Moritz? Yes. Tell me about the St. Moritz. Toluca Lake Tennis Club. Is it Toluca Lake Tennis Club? It's the Toluca Lake Tennis Club. It's the St. Moritz in the club. Oh, the okay, club, okay. It's a it. restaurant. But yeah. it's open to the public. Really? And it's it's a beautiful room, and the food is fabulous. It's by the graveyard, isn't it, somewhere? Well, oh, yes. Come somebody on. says you get to the mausoleum, you've gone too far. <laughs> get <it>? back. Yes. <laughs> Tell me about the room itself. Uh, well, there. It's how, long you're, how long you're there? Uh, we're just there another two weekends. Uh-huh. Uh, but we did a New Year's Eve there, which was quite an experience. Really? Yes. It's hard to get musicians. Who's your to come conductor? Out. It's hard to get musicians. Well, Who's right your conductor? Here, Frank Frost. Frank, my, how are uh, you? Ranger oh, and conductor. Your condu you're working the uh, St. Moritz with her, and you. Right. Oh, Where are you from, wonderful. Frank? Originally. Originally, Des Moines, Iowa. Really? He saw me in the high Same? school play. Did you kids have been known each but other? No, we didn't know each never, other. Really? But I didn't meet her until and, and, 88. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We went to a memorial. Uh huh. If somebody, somebody said, don't ever miss a funeral. You know, you should always go to all the right, funerals. right. You never right. know who you're so going to you meet. You meet your old friends, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so sure enough, how did you get in the business? You've been arranging for many years, conducting or? Well, I, I'm a reed player. I play saxophone, clarinet, and flute. Uh huh. And I, bit, I went to Juilliard, and then I started working in New York. Uh huh. Uh, after I who some of the who some of the people the that you have con uh, conducted with, or some of the people you've written for? Well, uh, bef before '88, I was working with Liza Minnelli for about six, seven years. Really, working with I, Liza? Ooh. I played uh, lead alto with her, and uh -huh. uh, I wrote some arrangements too. She's a great lady. To me, she's one of our greatest entertainers alive today in America. She really Absolutely, is. not Streisand, her. Entertainer. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> People say Streisand. <laughs> it makes me a big joke of Streisand. Streisand's a great singer, technically. But as an entertainer, she's the best. <laughs> Am uh, I right? Liza, you mean? Liza. How, yes. yes, Liza. Tell me about working with Liza. Is she, um, I bet she's Liza's great with her musicians, her. right? Is, this, is she? Very nice. Like what? So give me an example. Like, well, she's she treats friendly the musicians to great. She rolls uh, out the carpet. Yeah. She for the musicians. There's food before the job, after. Really? In the, in the dressing room. Uh huh. Uh, How about Claiborne? Does she take good care of you, she too? She takes everybody out to dinner every once in a she while. She does take you out to dinner? Claiborne's great to work with. Is she so great talented. To uh huh. Singer, mm -hmm. actress, comedian. See, what we're trying to do. Well, so, so you have yeah, written some songs. You, but, but, um, the interesting, what we're doing now is bringing the jazz into cabaret right. and combining it, which which is is special. The Vine Street tried to do that, or are they trying to, that one on Vine Street Grill or something like that? Well, the See, Vine I heard Street, that's, that's closed. Is but, it closed? Uh, uh, Finally, closed. thank that's God. Anyway, uh, but I thought that was a ripoff of a place. I really did for the entertainers. <laughs> I did. I always did. Uh -huh. And but uh, but there is is there no jazz room in town? Oh no! How about the Bellage? The Bellage. The Bellage has jazz. Is, uh, having jazz. Uh, uh, Chadney's. Uh huh. Uh, now a place called Legends of Hollywood, where uh -huh. St. Moritz used to be. Right. Meet. Did you ever meet Chet Baker in your career? I heard him, but I didn't. You meet. never met Chet. I met him in Paris, and I worked with him at a base in Paris. He was, I, and and also in oh, Pittsburgh, I worked with Chet. He was something. He was fabulous. Great. He was like a I little boy. He was him. like a little boy. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, he was an excellent one. Just cut Great. drugs, drugs, you know, what happens. Yeah, drugs. You know, I was Isn't just watching awful? the um, the uh, movie the other night of Sing Blues, uh, you know, and it just turned me off. I just uh, mm -hmm. the, the drugs, how these jazz singers get into these drugs. Why is that? Why does jazz singers get into the drug scene? Tell me. Tell us, Is it Frank. because, is it because, <laughs> no, Frank, I don't know. Is it because they well, think it's hip? It, no. It goes, is there time? Too much well, time? Well, in the, in, the, in the 50s, when, when, the, all the, when Charlie Parker was the the idol of everybody. Right. It, that's, he was, he was, a, he was a drug addict. So everyone they, thinks so everybody it's the thing to do. They mimicked him. They all think it's they the, thought it was the thing to do. And they think they're going to play that well and if they, they take drugs? They maybe think that that's going to rub off and they'll uh -huh. help. Who uh -huh. knows? Right. Uh -huh. Billy Holiday always had a problem. Uh -huh. Who's your favorite, uh, Miss Claiborne? My favorite singer? Jazz singer, yeah. Oh, you Carmen. You must have. Carmen. Is that who you, uh, Carmen? No, McCray? no, I don't have a sound like that. Uh, but your, but your I, sound I, is more, I want the audience to hear your sound right now, because I hear you are, I haven't seen your show yet, I'm coming to see you. I hear you are just wonderful. Well, thank and you. And I love my audience, I would like to roll this tape. Okay. This is from uh, probably... Uh, well, Town Hall. Town Hall. And from, uh, from... Um, from uh, the, no, we're going to do the town hall first. Let's don't just tell mama. don't tell mama. Don't tell mama. Hi. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
I just have to share something with you. If you were here Tuesday night, you know, it was just so wonderful. And, oh, no, I didn't mean that. But a woman came up to me last night. I came and, and she said, I, I don't want you to be offended. But she said, you know, I always wanted to do cabaret. And I just thought I was too old until I saw you do that song. <laughs> So, um, I really wanted to do Betty Hutton. I said, Frank, um, David Stoller called, and he, he offered, uh, you know, to invited me to be on this thing at Town Hall, and I, I'll, I'll do Betty Hutton, because she was my, my idol. I used to, uh, she was the only movie star that I sent for the picture, and I had this little picture in my little skirt at, at recess. I'd take it out, and I'd say, I love you, Betty. I said, do you, do you love me, Betty? You know, I had this whole thing with her, and then I'd say, I'm going to put you away now, Betty. I have to go back to arithmetic, you know. So I said, Frank, I think, you know, I, I want to do Betty Hutton, and you, you'll do the arrangements, right? And he said, no, we're doing Victor Young, and I'll do the arrangements. And I said, okay, good. So here we are. Um, Victor Young died at the age of 56 in 1956. And um, he, he did win the Academy Award for the first song in this medley that we're going to sing. He, he won it posthumously. Around the world I searched for you. I traveled on when hope was gone to keep our rendezvous. I knew somewhere, sometime, somehow you'd look at me and I would see that smile you're smiling now. It might have been in County Down or here in New York or Gay Paria or even London town, no more will I go all around the world, for I have found my world in you. When I fall in love, it will be completely or I'll never fall in love And the moment I can feel that you feel that way too Is when I with you have you seen Stella by starlight standing alone wind in her hair have you seen Stella by starlight when have you known rapture so rare The song a robin sings Through years of endless springs The murmur of a brook at eventide That ripples by a nook where two lovers hide A great symphonic theme That Stella by starlight And not a dream She's all of this and more She's everything that you adore love letters 
straight from your heart Keep us so near while apart I'm not alone in the night for I can have all the love you write I memorize every I kiss the name that you sign And darling, then I read again right from the start Love letters straight from your heart The night is like a lovely tree My foolish heart, how white the ever constant moon. Take care, my foolish heart. There's a line between love and fascination that's hard to see on an evening such as this, for they both give that very same sensation when you're lost in the magic of a kiss his lips are much too close to mine beware my foolish heart but should our eager lips combine then let the fire start for this time it isn't fascination or a dream that will fade and fall apart no this time it's love my foolish agree with me that we have these folders of songs that we're going to do at some point. I better hurry up. I've got a lot of folders. <laughs> and this song has always been way up at the top, but it was always a jazz song. And uh, uh, because, um, um, what's her name? June Christie. Yeah, thank you. June. <laughs> June Christie sang it and knocked everybody out, but it, I think it was probably one of the first jazz songs or the, the, that a jazz singer took that had a story to it. And then as the years rolled along, they seemed to do that. I, I, I had an apartment at 49th and 8th. It was one of the last of the great deals. It was a two bedroom with a big living room and full kitchen and the walls were thick and I could play the piano all night. Nobody would hear. It was a hundred dollars. <laughs> but I noticed downstairs on 8th Avenue in the Blarney Stone, a woman would come in in the afternoon. Don't ask me how I happened to notice her. <laughs> But I saw her again in Chicago at Jack's and Des Moines at Lucille's and Omaha at God knows who. And it just, I see her everywhere. Don't ask me how I happened to notice. So I thought I could do that song now. I think I could uh, forget the jazz and just do the song, do the story that Billy wrote. Something cool 
I'd like to order something cool. It's so warm here in town, and the heat gets me down. Yes, thank you. In January, that was fun, and um, I'm looking forward to working out here in film and. and but you do television. comedy too. You tried to, you tried stand up comedy at the comedy store, did you? Yeah. Tell me about yes. that. Yes. Well, Tell I me. took a course in it, <laughs> uh -huh. and um, and it was good. It uh -huh. was. I, I developed some very funny stuff, but it's all from my life, you know. That's what comedy is about. Sure. And um, I thought, well, if I'm going to get a series here at my age and so forth, I probably should get very good at stand-up. So I took a course uh -huh. and then went out to um, uh, the uh, improv. Right. Uh, and we, our graduation was it. I right. have that tape, by the way. It's uh -huh. very funny. Is it? I should give it to uh -huh. you to put on. You know, I'm at the comedy store on Saturday nights. I present oh, are you still in the belly, there? In the belly room upstairs. Oh, it's, beautiful. It's a lot of fun. I'd love you to come sometime I when you're not to. working as yes, a singer. Or maybe sure. you come. But you did make this record. I love this record. I'm going uh, to redo this for uh, for uh, in a CD. In a CD? Yeah, we're we're working on that right now. And then Frank and I are putting together a new CD uh -huh. with all of his arrangements. Tell me about the audiences at this wonderful room you're working in Toluca Lake. They're at fabulous. They really come to listen. They want to hear what this is. They've really? heard about it. They've read about it, and it's something you don't hear and see right. every day right and especially out here right and uh so it's it's fun does it's bob hope know you're out there because you're only near bob well, hope I he loves called jazz him. he hasn't called me he i hasn't hasn't called him but he loves jazz does he yeah and his wife can sings get him great. over but how about you does did you ever hear bob hope's wife sing dolores oh she's great she's really? a good singer good singer and she's a jazz singer too i think she does a little jazz uh-huh so it's tough for a Performers to get work out here, though, isn't there? I haven't found that yet. I, I've been working steadily and, uh -huh. and happily, probably more than I ever have, oddly enough. Where would you see, like to see uh, Claiborne five years from now? I'd like to do feature films. Well, who wouldn't? Mm -hmm. But I think um, it gives you more time to develop something substantial mm -hmm. on film. More than more than uh, sitcoms, mm -hmm. although I wouldn't sneeze at a sitcom. Right. But, uh, it's all about learning lines and hurrying up and get it uh -huh. in the can. Whereas a film, I think, gives you a little more chance to to really develop something. I'm looking at you right now. It's Clarence Leachman's sister, Frank Frank Stallone. I've interviewed Frank Stallone many times. He has difficulty with his brother by saying he's Sylvester Stallone. You oh, yes. Uh -huh. Sylvester Stallone. Sure. And you're, I'm looking at you right now as, as I interview. I think you see, you have that same problem with Clarence Leachman, as, as she's like, she should help you or did something. Well, Do you have any regrets about that? Uh, be honest with me. My regret is that I spent too much time with her. Oh. Just being her buddy and her friend and, and, and then she would go on to do a feature right, and I would right. go on to unemployment or something. Right. That's my regret. Arms. Did she ever open your arms really to you? Did she? I mean, to help you, to come to see you in these clubs? Uh, well, she would come to see me. But yeah. It was more curiosity, I think. Curiosity? Mm hmm To see how I was doing and uh -huh. if I was good and if I was better than she was. I mean, she's very competitive. Is she real? Oh. She's a star. She's, She's a what star. What is happening with her right now? Her career is not... Really I, I have no idea. You're, I have no you're not idea. very close. To, you no. don't keep in contact no. yet. I no. see. Claiborne, I must tell you, I've enjoyed I got this. a divorce. Did you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm much happier. Uh, I'm, well, that's... You kids are... You must, I, I'm, I'm very excited to interview you both today. And I'm Thank so, you. I've got to come and you. see We're you. I heard you're just here great you. at this wonderful little room, St. Moritz. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, it's Steve uh, Applegate and Manny Slaw, and uh -huh. they're trying a new policy with the 
uh, but they have good taste, obviously, uh -huh. and uh, they're really trying to present But they have something. other nights, too. Don't uh, they? they have other nights, I see. They uh, well, Mondays? they had Hatta Brooks. Oh, well, they have for dinner. Is Hatta Brooks there? She was. Oh, she's she great. Was. She plays the piano and sings. Oh, yeah, she's, she's wonderful. Great. And, great. Um, and then they brought us in. Uh -huh. And uh, it's catching on. People are uh -huh. beginning to realize that there is this very uh, high-level mm -hmm. entertainment there mm -hmm. that's included with, with the meal. And, um, but so you have to go to the valley to entertain around here. It seems like there's nothing in Hollywood for jazz rooms. Well, nothing the new like your nuance clothes. That was kind of new, sad. Nuance. That was a on fun place. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, wasn't it great with yeah. uh, Ernie Andrews? Your Down agent there. is uh, is Buzz Halliday. Uh huh. She's wonderful. She just opened her own office over uh -huh. on Beverly Boulevard, mm -hmm. and I'm with uh, Sutton Barthenari for commercials. Uh huh. So you really want to you really want to get into a so series. I'm ready to roll. Yeah, you really yeah. get into a series of your own. Well, it would be fun. Yeah, because sure, of course. Because you I'd do love comedy, it. you know. Sure. Who else is better than nightclub performers as, as a, in a series? Because most of the directors and producers are looking in clubs for comics to get them into series. Exactly. That's what they're looking right now. Exactly. They're coming to the comedy store, the improv, yep. and putting, look at all the comics. Yes. They're all comics. Yes. They're stars today on yes. series. Yes, people Claiborne, from Broadway, I think you'd be wonderful. I really do. Thank you. I thank you very, thank very you much so for having much. Thank you very much. Frank. Okay, for Frank, you. Frank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Yep. Great. Oh, you're great, Skip. Oh, you're marvelous. Oh, you're so easy to...